Hi everybody, so this is a new tutorial. This is, uh, we're gonna go through the, the basic of life but uh, a little bit further. So this is basic part number two. Uh, last uh, video, last tutorial, we went through the, um, you know, the, the, the sample, the, the, the loops, the, the audio feature in live. And so we were able to just drag and drop loops just like this one here in the scene and uh, have a have a, a make a song a house song just like that you know just like this loop and so now today we're gonna go a little bit further and we're gonna have like um, we're gonna make actually um, we're gonna use instruments so I, I'm going here in this little part so if you remember in the the tutorial basic number one part one we 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 went through all those little buttons here so this one is the live devices those are the instruments built in live and the one i use to use samples to to put my samples you know to trigger my samples and stuff is called impulse so same thing as um audio you just take the synth instead of um you know an, a loop an audio file you take a synthesizer you know an instrument and you put it on the scene right so now it's loading it's being a little bit slow it's okay and now here we have this track it's a MIDI track and the name of the track is called impulse uh, because we just dragged uh, this uh, instrument called impulse so here's the little uh, impulse instruments uh, that has like uh, a few different boxes here where you can actually drag and drop your sample. So if you remember here, we have three bookmarks um, that goes directly to our hard drive. So let's get a let's get a sample from uh, let's a vengeance. I like those. So this is just an example, right? I take this uh, sample, I drag it anywhere I want. Let's try with the first one, and if I click here, see, I'm good. I I can um, hear my sound. So now that I have a sound, it's not like the loop here, where I just click and the the loop plays, you know, over and over. Right here, if you notice, this track has nothing. I have no pattern. So I just I'm gonna create one, and all I have to do is to double click here, and here we go. I uh, we have the the view where we have a one measure here a grid and all I have to do is to double click here for example every bar I'm gonna create a kick right and here I stop or I can go here to stop everything but uh, I stop my one pattern here um, the the um, this uh, little uh, instrument called impulse you know here has eight um, little boxes called slot and on the first one we have the hard key right so to hear it I just click this little headphone here and then I click so I can hear it it's very loud <laughs> if I if I re if I yeah, un uncheck it now I can't hear it right but uh, if you have a keyboard like I do a USB keyboard uh, you you can just play it right it's here right sorry see it's red so I see what I'm playing okay so now we went through that so if I want to I can just add an um, an EQ let's say I want the kick to be louder I go in either the built-in live devices um, and I go so here is instrument media effect and audio effect right I want an audio effect uh, to put on this um, instrument. Even though the track here is MIDI, it's a MIDI track, it triggers an audio here. Everything is audio here because it's a, it's an instrument that so now it becomes audio. But this thing here is MIDI because here you can enter your MIDI, right? So the MIDI controls the audio that is here. That's the little the little thing. Uh, synth. So now let's say I'm gonna take um, an EQ. Same thing. I just drag and drop, and then I have my EQ here, right? That I can play with. Then 
so I can remove the bass you know I can that's an EQ I'm gonna I'm gonna explain what an EQ is so anyway uh, I'm gonna remove this one track because I already have it done here and so uh, we're gonna do the same here with the the hi-hats uh, it's the same concept I just have like a an impulse with the hi-hats on it right so same thing and snare all right the the computer is, uh, is pretty slow because I am recording this uh, tutorial all right uh, so same thing I created like um, I went here I took an instrument called Impulse and I drag and dropped it here and it created a, a new track, right? So it's already done, you know, I renamed them to, to name a track and a pattern. You just go here, right click, rename it and you just name it, right? So here we go. And let's add the loop. Sorry about the glitch. It's computers doesn't have enough RAM. Sorry about that. All right, so here we go. We have a rhythm uh, made of audio samples like this one here, and MIDI tracks, snare, hi hats, and kick. So the hi hat is here, right? Um, I can also record with my keyboard. I can just record like um, I can play whatever so whatever I'm playing on the keyboard would be recorded so what I have to do is to select the track and I click on this little me um, yeah it's a MIDI button saying I, I can play this one track right if I do that here it's gonna play the the snare and here the kick right so uh, from here I I'm gonna um, actually. Uh, uh, sorry, I got distracted. All right, so uh, what I, <laughs> I can't fuck up what I was saying. Um, yeah, okay. So we have we have a whole like a rhythm. Okay, now we want to import like a a synth, right? Like a bass. Let's say a bass. So I already did it. It's the same. I go into my VST plugin. I find a a synthesizer called Minimoog from Arturia. It's really good. Anything Arturia is just like the best um, plugins you can ever ever find. Yeah, Korgs are good too. So those like uh, Minimoog and Arturia stuff, they they modelize it in in a way that is like amazing. So it sounds good. So same thing, you know. I take it. I drag and drop the instruments on the scene, and then. I have my mini Moog and I can actually uh, change the presets, play with it, you know, play with the the filter and the parameters and stuff. So here we go. Um, I'm, that was just an example. So I did it here. So same thing. I select the track. I can get my synth again by just clicking here and I can close it. So open and close and closing here same thing I created a pattern and let's play it in solo that's the solo button here it's a very basic uh, note 